All right, welcome back to season three of our show. And today it's banana bread, rum raisin banana bread. You guys have been waiting for this one. Let's show you how to get it done. So we got all of our bananas here. They're pretty banged up. They've been here for about a week. Now I left them here just so I can do this because you always want to use a ripe banana. So let's just chop off the tops and just slice right down the side. Now I go down the side with these just so I can get them in nice and easy, just like that, because they're all sticky. So what I'll do is just cut them right in their peel and jump them right in. Just kind of keeps you a lot cleaner. And we're just going to do all of these guys. Now this is always a great thing to do when your bananas start to go bad or not. So I usually buy extras because we eat a lot of bananas in my house and the dogs love them. So I usually give a lot of these to the dogs and use them as treats. So if you guys aren't giving your dogs bananas as treats, try it. They'll love them. I also give them some meats too. Now that one I'm going to get in whole because that one's going to get nice and mushed up in there. That was pretty soft. And the rest of these we'll just cut up. No special way, just get them in. Now we're using a rum today at Captain Morgan's. That's what usually I use. But if you have anything else like 151 or Bacardi or anything else like that, you could use that as well. If you got some old rum sitting on your shelf, this is a good way to use it. I had that Captain Morgan sitting there for a long time. I got it for a Christmas gift and it's probably about three years old because I, I don't drink and uh, I hardly ever use rum in any of my recipes but this one. Around the holiday time, I'll just bust out this one. It's a great go-to. All right, last banana. And this one I'm just gonna chop up a few times and just get it in there. And there you go. So just like that, take this other piece and put it in. And just like that, your hands stay clean. So let's get this off to the side. And let's show you our other ingredients. So what we'll do, we're going rum raisin today. We're gonna to add some walnuts in here too. So everything right in there. Ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna put some in there. Make it yours, nothing is exact. I got four cups of flour in there. That's self-rising. So that was pure vanilla. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more in. Again, make it yours. I like all that vanilla in there, so I'm using a lot of it. Nutmeg, a little bit of cloves I put in, and just gotta put just a touch clove in there. Touch more. All right, Captain. We got him off to the side. We're just gonna get him ready to go in. And what we'll do is just start to mix this. Just gonna give it a couple of spins. And what we'll do now is we're gonna add some tallow. This is 100% beef tallow. This is how much I'm putting in. Nothing's exact, but it's a decent amount of it. I'd say about a half a cup. And just get it mixed in. It's almost like you were making biscuits. So we'll get it mixed in there. And now we're going to add our milk or whole milk now that you're mixed up. Again, no exact measurements. This is a, a 
recipe of consistency. And you gotta get the right one. Because you add all these different things in. And it only goes by consistency. Because you might add another banana or your bananas might be bigger than these or smaller. So we're just gonna go strictly by consistency. And start mixing. Gently. You're just gonna kinda turn it in. I need more milk. That's whole milk, by the way. And just turn. Now this is gonna be a big banana bread because actually in this one we have five cups of flour. I thought it was four, but I just remembered I added an extra one because I found an extra banana that was on his way out. And while he was on his way out, I figured, you know what? Let him go out in a blaze of glory and a banana bread. Why not, right? All right, so we got that almost mixed in. And now it's time for the captain. Now I don't measure anything, so I'm just gonna go in with a good splash of that, a real good splash. And get it in. I always let the booze at the end, just so I can kind of see where I'm at. It smells great. And if I need to wet this up a little bit more, I'll add some more of that because it's going to evaporate off anyway. And just get it turned over. But that's the consistency you want about right here. And make sure you got all the flour up off the bottom of here. All right, now we are ready to go into our pot. So right here I got a pot with some parchment paper in it. And I'm gonna get this into here. So here we go. I'm just gonna put it in like that. Put it in the middle, it'll just fall to the sides. And just get it all in. Now on this one, I didn't add any sugar. Because the bananas are going to be sweet enough with everything else we added in there. And the raisins. So I didn't add any sugar in this one. But if you want, you guys can add some sugar. But in my book, with the raisins in here and the bananas, it'll be sweet enough and you can add a little sugar to the top of this if you like. Which we'll do right before we go in the oven. We're gonna put some brown sugar right on the top of here. Show you how to get that in. And that's it. All right, 450 on the oven, 45 minutes, and we'll meet you right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're ready to go in the oven. So we're just gonna take our brown sugar. Now I have this in the refrigerator, so if you guys keep yours in the refrigerator, just make sure that it's chopped up good, like that. That's how I chop mine up. I thought I was doing cement. All right, so now we're just gonna sprinkle. Now at the last second, I got a request to go a little bit sweeter on this, so we're going sweeter. We're just gonna get a lot of that brown sugar on here. Usually I go a lot lighter with the brown sugar, but today we're going a little bit heavier. But make it yours. You don't have to go like we're doing it now. 
Like I said, I usually go lighter on the sugar. But today, we're going a bit heavy. And just like that. Good thing we didn't put any sugar in this cake. All right, there you go. So we're gonna spread that around a little bit. Like that. And we're just gonna put a couple of grooves in here. Like this. Just to get that sugar down in there. And it'll look good when it cooks. All right, there you go. And the oven 450. Right in the middle. And that's it. I'll meet you back here in 45 minutes to check on it. Don't go anywhere. All right, our cake's out of the oven. Let's show you what we got. So our cake's out and cooled. So let's show you how to do this. Now, to get this out, this is so big this time, I can lift it like that, but I don't want it to break. So what I'll do, parchment paper on the middle, it's gonna go like this. It's nice and cool. I'm gonna take it, turn it over, lift this pot up, and look at that nice water that's running from there. I'm just gonna wipe this real quick because that's just condensation. I'm gonna pull this off of here. Just like that. I'm gonna take my cutting board, put it back over, and flip. Now I lost some crumbs, but I made it. And there you have it. So let me just Wipe this up. Unless you have big hands, I suggest using another board. And a long arm reach. All right, so that's it. We got it onto the board. Now, let's cut into this. We got a nice cup of coffee here, and believe it or not, it's 4 a.m. I've had dinner, and I've been waiting for this one. So let's just cut into this. So what I'll do is just, I'm going to cut it like a cake. Cut it there, and then we'll take it. Just cut it there. You can do it any way you want, as long as you get it out. Look at that, beautiful. Very nice. Let's get it onto our plate. Once it hits the white plate, you can see it a lot better. And let's just give that a try there. Wow, that is excellent. You can taste that rum. That sugar on top got nice and hard, so the top is really crunchy and sugary, but the inside's gentle where you can taste all that fruit and it's not sweet. So sweetness from all the natural fruit, but that's about it, it's not overly sweetened. Let's just give this a shot here. I'm just gonna take it and break into it just to show you how that is. Look at that. And see all the bananas on there. Excellent. All right, we're going to get organized. We're going to meet you right back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All 
All right, there it is, a beautiful rum raisin walnut banana bread from scratch with all fresh ingredients. Hope you guys like this one. If you like this video, please give a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next time, gotta get that little uh, pitmaster taste there.